Hello, in this video I want to look on a new creative application that was introduced to me. And this application, it's helped to create, generate fractal art designs that you can use it for your backdrop. Just if you look even on a gallery, it's stunning. Some look like painting. Um, you also can just create art or enjoying so it's very interesting one of the most interesting fractal application visual what i saw we can use it so in this video we'll just go overview of this application just slightly how it's do kind of like most reviews and in the next tutorials i'm going to look how you can set up how you can create first uh, your render and other ones first off um go to chaoticfractals.com and if you go to this place, you'll notice they have it also right now on a sale going special. Again, notice this is a sale dated, so it's not necessarily all the time. But this is if you want to have uh, HD or Studio Edition. Again, you don't necessarily need purchase. You can have a downloaded trial version and go with this as well. They have it also beta version 2.0. Um, you want actually I think it's a little bit higher than that but it's what we're also going to look on some beta so you can play with this it's less stable but it's give you ability to see what application can do also if you need it they have a, a manual it's not extensive but it's give you a small overview of the interface however some notes are found not very explainable what they can do and I hope these tutorials will help you with this to define what is actually happened also the uh, forum is uh, a community forum is active so you can always pay uh, post your questions there and see when pay, pay how people answer and help you as well so it's kind of nice about this the one thing I noticed this is what I call a live application I'm it's meaning it's actively um, updating actively growing the developers is there so it's nice to see because we have many uh, dead applications which is actually just sitting just doing nothing so okay right here's website so let's go look right now on the interface first time when you open you actually will have it this window and you will also have it open with the examples if you want it or run the board generator so for example we're going to this and we click new random world you can see right here it will generating those random world that you can use it as your base and i would recommend on the beginning to do this in a case if you don't know how it's work so it's let you something to play with already preset the parameters also you notice before when i click i want to browse examples and this is examples it's what the preset is showing you different type of fractals you can preload it and kind of work with this so let's go just open one from browser and notice as i select it's come render on the background notice on this resolution what is interesting about the application it will process it will create um, as a fractal it's calculating more and more in depth the longer sitting the better details and one time I just left alone and one thing when I did not know, you can see on the bottom render, it was a render like for three, four days and keep on going. So you actually need pause render or say when you think the quality is good enough because it's one step stop, at least maybe I said two higher durations, I don't know, but in my case, it was almost three days and it's still updating. It was very high, very good quality of image or calculations, but again, it was kind of in funny things for me this so overall you will notice interface with um on top very common um accessibility so you can kind of um select what you wanted new random word new empty um also editing and at first you kind of getting confused it's what i was it sadly that the documentation when you go online manual or other look they are explaining some parameters but well not even parameters some of um, elements for example fractal editing but i wish it was a little bit more um, details explain what does they do however um it's what i was planning to actually record tutorials to kind of going over and explore and help to find what does this curve does what does the 
palette mean or other ones. Okay, so right here you can notice we have our element, but this is preview. To modify this, actually, we need to go inside and going to the world editor. So in a world editor, you can see we have all these different representations for iterators. Um, in some cases, we have cameras, but we don't have an iterator for camera. And we're also in this example. And some all additional paths so we can preview and all this. So we'll look on that probably get started with uh, Chaotica in a tutorials. We're going to look a little bit closer, but just let you know. So this is probably will be your main window when you modify how they look. The nice things about this window that you can drag on a different screen. So if you have a multiple screen, you can put it on another one. And modifying some of these elements, you can change the directions and you can see how it's, you can change start positioning you also can change transforms for them, how they affect. And also you notice this is uh, how they interact between each other. So this is all different fractal seeds. Think about this. And this is the interaction. So you can set your fractals, multiple layers. You can adjust how they will interact or affect each other with this. So it's very, very, um, complex very very nice sophisticated application which can provide a unbelievably excellent very very good result for you to do however it is will have a little bit learning curve when you get inside so when you started don't get discouraged when first time you'll don't feel like it does not going your way this application will take a little bit learning time experimenting and practicing but when you come out with some unbelievably great looking art, I mean, it will be very rewarding to see that. So, okay. And overall, I will say this application, it's nice. It's very um, standout application. I would recommend for you to go research. I did find some instabilities, primarily for me in a, a 1.5, the official release. It's actually always locking on my computer. And I'm trying to find out why the beta, however, new ones, it's worked just fine. And surprisingly, beta does not crashing on me as other application all the time. So I would recommend uh, try full release. If it's broken, don't give up. Download the beta version and just try going with that as well. So that one. Um, and if you artists could try it, it's definitely try application i will post it the links to the application to the website um, down below and be sure that subscribe to my youtube channel uh, so you can see when it's new tutorials for the chaotica or similar applications will be out and if you like it give a thumbs up and i appreciate very much your support